what is the latest on the Artemis moon missions? The project, as we know, has been dogged by a few delays. Are things getting back on track? So, yes, Artemis 2, which will carry four astronauts to the moon next year, an orbital mission this time, just a final test of the capsule. That's slated now to launch in mid next year. That's all looking very, very good now. They've sorted out a lot of the issues that they thought they had with the spacecraft and its heat shield and its actual life support system. So that's looking great. And, of course, now we're getting ready to do even more at the moon, a lot more commercial missions are going to be operating at the moon. We've got at least another four missions heading there before the end of the year. We were just showing our viewers then some some pictures of, of what looked like moon vehicles. I see NASA's selected a few companies to actually work uh, with them to develop these sort of lunar rovers. What are they? Essentially cars on the moon to help those astronauts with their missions? Yeah, if we're going to get anywhere, we're going to use that GPS system. We're going to have vehicles that will use that. So today, NASA announced three companies, Intuitive Machines, which earlier this year landed the first commercial mission on the surface of the Moon, Lunar Outpost. It's actually going to also be working with the Australian Space Agency on the Lunar Trailblazer effort, and then Venturi Astrolab. So all of them are designing these Mars rovers under a sort of $4.6 billion US project to develop a whole range of rovers, not only to build them, but to test them and send them to the moon they actually have to land them there as well as commercial operators so really building up this amazing lunar economy now with lots of things happening between the earth and the moon a lot more commercial operations and a chance for actually people like you and me to actually get more and more involved i'd love to see you reporting from a lunar buggy on the lunar surface one day oh glenn don't give me ideas goodness um you just talking to one of my, my lifelong dreams there. You never know. Let's not write that one off. Um, I was going to say those those images of the cars, they look pretty futuristic. They look pretty cool, actually. I can only imagine the, the sort of technology that would need to go into developing a vehicle that can work on the moon. Yeah, unlike during the Apollo days where we sent a couple of lunar rovers and they were just to drive around taking the astronauts from one location to the next, this time we want to have vehicles that will actually be sort of like a, a home for the astronauts. So they go off on these long drives, actually stay in the vehicle, sort of like taking your own camper van to the moon to be able to do science and experiments. But also the vehicles need to be designed to operate independently. And for a couple of reasons, we can send those machines out to do exploration for us without risk to astronauts. Or if an astronaut was out driving one day and they were disabled for some reason, then the rover could actually bring them back home to safety. Fascinating stuff. Glenn Nagel, always appreciate you joining us. Thanks so much for your time. Thanks very much, Ash.